Welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms. In this session, I shall explain the Dijkstra's algorithm with an example. This Dijkstra algorithm uses the greedy approach. Now you you are all aware what greedy approach is all about. Normally, in greedy approach, the problems are solved in stages. Dijkstra's algorithm is used to find the shortest paths to a graph's vertices in order of their distance from a given source. So let us take one example here. This is the example which I have shown. So the given will be a graph. This Dijkstra algorithm will work for both directed and undirected graph. In this example, I have taken a undirected graph. Moreover, in the algorithm, if you look into the pseudo code for this Dijkstra algorithm, this particular line, if du star plus w u star comma u less than du, then make du equal to du star plus w u star comma u. So this is the main logic here that is used in the Dijkstra algorithm. So let me first show you on the graph itself how to update the values. Then I'll tell you how to fill the same thing in the table. So the question will be in this form: Find the shortest path to reach all other vertices in the given undirected graph from the source vertex. Now given in the problem is the source vertex A, and you are going to make use of the Dijkstra algorithm. hope it is clear to you all now that you are going to find the shortest path for the source vertex a that means a can reach b at what cost with a minimum cost with what minimum cost a can reach b with what minimum cost a can reach c with what minimum cost a can reach d with what minimum cost a can reach e in the problem statement the given source vertex is a if it is b then you have to compute b reaching a c d e so this way whichever is the source vertex you take that as the initial vertex and start doing the steps for this algorithm so first let me tell you what exactly is the logic that is used in the algorithm here is what i have written now u star and u are representing the vertices in the given graph w is the weight or the cost on the edge between these two vertices so ma mainly what you are doing in this formula is suppose if there is a vertex u star and another vertex is u and whatever is the cost that is mentioned here suppose if it is 4 then this 4 is equal to w you have to see that what is the distance to reach u star okay what is the distance to reach u then taking the value w or the cost that is present on this edge you need to update the value for the distance taking a as u star fine distance of a as per the formula what it is distance of u star means i am taking a as u star now distance of a plus w less than d of b find u is b here u star is a u star is a here and u is b so w is the cost that is present on the edge between a and b distance of a a reaching a is zero only the weight on this a and b okay this one is 3 0 plus 3 less than d of b d of b is how much here d of b initially a doesn't know what is the distance to reach b so it is infinity so we can write here infinity now after looking into the value that is present on the edge that is 3 3 less than infinity yes it is true so if it is true then you have to write the distance to reach b is 3 so now this infinity will get updated to 3 in this way a knows now that it can reach b at a cost of 3 initially it was infinity now you have updated to 3 so this now once this b is finalized okay then your u star in the next step what will happen this u star will become b and if you want to take the next edge okay whether if you want to take the next vertex whether it is c or d anything suppose if you are taking c as the next vertex then your u becomes a c now so first this a was u star and b was u now once after computing this b became u star and the next vertex whichever you are taking out of the remaining vertices in the graph that becomes u so now you are you will be carrying out for what if distance of b now your u star is b no d b plus the weight on b comma c is less than the distance of c then let us check what will be the value now if distance of b distance of b now only we have computed we got it it is 3 3 plus w into b comma c what is the here cost that is present on bc it is 4 and initially the value to reach c was infinity so 3 plus 4 less than infinity 7 less than infinity yes it is true 7 is less than infinity so d of c can be 
what updated to 7 this infinity becomes 7 so this way you will keep updating the values to reach the destination node or the destination vertex by making use of this formula so let me just show you directly on the graph itself you can carry out all these steps but initially what i am doing is i am starting with the source vertex a a presently knows that it can reach it doesn't know what is the distance to reach the other nodes in the graph so it has made a value infinity so the same thing you are trying to update here first initially what your vertex your selected vertex is a but you are not visited any of the vertices and to reach b it is infinity to reach c it is infinity to reach d it is infinity to reach e is also infinity so all lowercase letters are used here let me write the lowercase letter so d is representing here what the distance okay this b is representing here the vertex or the destination node this is the first step that i have also carried out in the graph in this the selected vertex a and i'll include that selected vertex vertex in the visited vertices now i will compute a with a reaching at to b a reaching to c a reaching to d and a reaching to e so these things i have to compute so a reaching to b you can apply the formula d of a plus w to a comma b less than d of b so this is what i told you know this is 0 plus 3 distance to reach a is 0 0 plus 3 less than infinity 3 less than infinity it is true then you update the distance to b as 3 so now a is updating that it is 3 fine similarly a will check the connected node it is d so distance to reach d will be how much now initially what it is a reaching a is 0 0 plus now the weight on this a comma d is 7 so 0 plus 7 is less than infinity yes 7 is less than infinity it is true so you will update it to 7 in this example what we have done is out of the four vertices for which a has to compute the distance two are directly connected one is b and another is d so in the next row in the table what you can do is a reaching b is 3 you have computed as per the formula and a reaching d is 7 when and remaining thing you write down as it is because still at present a doesn't know how to reach c and a doesn't know how to reach e and also these two are one edge far from a so that's why for a reaching c it is infinity a reaching e is infinity now out of this three infinity seven and infinity which is minimum three is minimum so if three is minimum then what is the corresponding node corresponding node is b so you include b in the selected vertex now and include b in the visited vertices now you have a and b in the list in the visited vertices now this one is already finalized so you don't have to worry now check for b to c b to d and b to e so b is here b to c you need to check for b to c so distance to reach from b to c is d of b if d of b plus w of what b comma c which is equal to 4 is less than d of c so d of b is 3 plus w of b comma c is how much it is 4 less than how much d of c at present is infinity so 7 less than infinity what you got equal to 7 now you are updating this value also to 7 so in the table what you can do is b to c this is your b b to c earlier it was infinity now you got a new value 7 similarly you do for b to d b to d is here okay this one b to d how will you compute now you are doing for b to d so i'll write here b to d weight on b to d is it less than d of d distance to reach b already we have computed here 3 plus weight on b and d it is 2 less than d distance to reach d which is already computed it is 7 so 5 less than 7 yes 5 is less than 7 if in this case what we found is this is less so what you have 5 less than 7 so the distance to reach d will be 5 though your earlier value was 7 now you are updating it to 5 next is you have to calculate b to e b to e now b to e in the graph if you check b to e b to e is still one more h far so you will retain it as it is infinity now out of these numbers 5 7 and infinity which one is minimum 5 so this one you have finalized and the corresponding node is d so that node you bring it to the selected vertex and include it in the vertices visited your vertices visited list is a b d 
now this 3 is already finalized in the first column no need to do next 7 is remaining and this one infinity now we have to check whether the existing values 7 and infinity whether it will be updated or not in this step so you have to do for d to c one time and d to e d to c now coming to this one the hope all the values are updated in the graph also see previously we did b to d as 5 so this one i need to update earlier it was 7 now the latest value is 5 now you are doing here d to c d to c is this one so d is here how much 5 5 plus the weight on d and c is 5 less than 7 okay. no it is not true 7 itself is lesser than 10 so we will retain the 7 value only this one whatever was earlier so we will retain it as it is because we got 10 now 10 is greater than 7 our job is to always keep the minimum value next you have to do for d to e d to e is here so this 11 from where it was written uh, let us cancel that presently the value is infinity so here the value is only infinity you can check in the table see this is what i am telling this is the infinity which is appearing here fine because in the previous step b to e which was 1 h far we have to write it as infinity only selected vertex is d so d to e we are doing it so when we are doing for d to e 5 plus 4 less than infinity yes it is true 9 less than infinity so we can update now this infinity to 9 so in the table also i will write here the value 9 this is computed now out of these two 7 and 9 minimum is 7 so the corresponding vertex is what c so that c will include in the selected vertex as well will include in the vertices visited now from this first column one is finalized this second column one value is finalized for the third column also one value is finalized only remaining is this one now here we need to check whether 9 will be retained or will it get a new value so this one is with respect to what c to e c to e is here c is here and e is here so c to e if i have to do c is how much presently it is 7 7 plus the cost on this edge is 6 less than 9 7 plus 6 is how much 13 13 less than 9 no 9 itself is lesser so we'll keep the value for e as 9 only so this value will be copied down as it is we have completed now so this is the only value in this row and that only will get selected as the minimum 3 7 5 and 9 the same thing if you look here in the graph also it got updated 3 5 7 and 9 now once you complete this you can write the distance table and come out with the graph also so i can write the distance table for node a this algorithm that's why it is called as single source shortest path source is one single source a and the shortest path to reach all other vertices in the graph you are computing you can note down the final graph also to put the weights also it will be like this 3 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 7 then 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 5 then 3 plus 2 plus 4 9 this way you need to carry out all these steps for the algorithm so you can go through the pseudocode here see this is u star which we have finalized the vertex that comes in the table here in the selected vertex and you can always see that u star is getting what is having an union operation with the vt vt which was initially null so null the vertices that are visited initially it is null then you are keep on finalizing the vertexes and adding it to the vt a will get added in the first step second step b so this way you are writing all the vertices under the column vertices visited so that is happening here in this second line vt union operation of u star u star is the vertex which you have finalized that means the selected vertex so this is what i am trying to tell you the selected vertex get included here in the vertices visited selected vertex b will get included here in the vertices visited selected vertex d will get included here selected vertex c will get included here so these steps will be carried out until all the vertices get completed starting from 0 i equal to 0 to v minus 1 the number of vertices in this case is how many 1 2 3 4 5 it 
process all the vertices in the graph it keeps doing this steps and making use of this formula to find the minimum cost to reach to the destination node so the time complexity for the digit trust algorithm you can write it as big o of e log v wherein if you are using the list here to represent the weights on the graph and min heap if you are using if the data structure used is min heap for the priority queue then you can use big o of e log v in case if you are using the matrix to represent the weights on the edges and the priority queue is an unordered array that time the time complexity becomes theta of v square so this is how you need to carry out a numerical on digit trust algorithm by following the steps hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care